Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your boy Eraliesman coming at you with the official WWE 2K Battlegrounds review. If you guys are new to the channel, love Supercard, love Battlegrounds, don't forget that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'm going to give you guys my honest review. You know, I wasn't sent this game for free or anything like that. I actually paid my money for it. it cost me $54 on Steam. Uh, a little hefty of a price, especially not even getting any QR codes. Some people out there could pay $40, $35, get QR codes and the game. And here I am paying $20 more and pretty much not getting anything else besides the game and the digital deluxe stuff. But uh, we already knew that's how PC games works. You know, I don't understand why we can't get email to code or anything like that. But, you know, it's whatever. I'm not going to complain about the John Cena card. I would love to have that John Cena card in my supercar game. But I'll survive. But let's get into the WWE 2K Battlegrounds review. So this is pretty much the main menu. On the right side, you got your blue bucks and your gold bucks. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Now, in the main menu screen, we have the store. We'll start here with the... This is the special store discount stuff. Special offers. So pretty much, these are the three offers in the store for this uh, two weeks, I believe it's two weeks and a few days. You can also buy gold, guys, as you can see here. I mean, instead of paying $49.99, you could pay $49.99. Wow, what a savings. You don't, you don't have that much, you wanna pay $34.99? Don't worry, we got a deal for you. Scratch that, $34.99. Uh, yeah, these bundles are, these are expensive coins, man. I, and coins are expensive. I say, guys, avoid the coins. But unless you really want to just like unlock everything really quick, but I say avoid the coins. And what is these prices like? Like, all right. So that's one negative already. Prices are not even advertised correctly. Uh, we get daily challenges in this game, so you get three daily challenges a day, I believe, and you just complete them, and you get blue bucks. You can get up to five hundred to a thousand, and then on the bottom is your bar for how many you do and then you get extra blue bucks and then you can also get a special gear at the end too so daily challenges cool uh i'm not gonna get into the whole character creator battle creator stuff that's where you create stuff your in your own stuff we're gonna get into now this superstars aspect of it now you can unlock a lot of superstars a lot of you are not the biggest fans of this screen but i do like the box and stuff like that it comes like a toy i can't keep them on the characters because copyright music but they do have a lot of characters you can unlock. They cost anywhere from 3000 to 12 k depending on if it's common, rare, all that stuff. Like Hulk Hogan, for example. They have many superstars here that you can unlock. So, yeah. There's a lot of characters. Even people here, that are, they're in TNA, which is kind of funny. Uh, but, yeah. Really a lot of characters. Some should have been legends, but, you know. Yeah. A lot of characters you can unlock. And then you also get these other characters that you get during the campaign. Like, you're like, who the hell is that guy? That's a, camp a campaign guy, campaign. You unlock these guys in the campaign, just so you guys know. Uh, campaign is another mode where you're going to want to be playing because you actually unlock stuff when you do the campaign. The campaign is not the longest. As you can see, I'm at 57 and 118, so I'm about halfway done almost. So, honestly, it's not terrible. It is a, it's a decently long story. Uh, but yeah, it's not difficult to unlock all the characters in this mode. You can unlock characters like Alexa Bliss, Apollo Crews, Baron Corbin, Braun Strowman. So yeah, this is the mode you will want to play to unlock characters that you cannot buy in the store. Now, as for King of the Battleground, it is a fun mode. I do enjoy it. Unfortunately, right now, there's an Andre the Giant bug or something where he can instantly eliminate you. So everyone is just literally abusing that glitch. So if you, I would say wait for that to get fixed to, to really enjoy King of the Battlegrounds. You can get all your friends involved. But yeah, I, I haven't done the tournament yet. I haven't done the Battleground Challenge, but that, that comes with you creating your superstar stuff. And then, you know, Exhibition and Women Exhibition. These are all the modes that come in the game. One-on-one -on -one tags, Steel Cages, Fatal 4 I wish they had a little more modes. It seems really limited. Like, where's the table matches, you know, stuff like that. Uh, this, this is WWE 2K Battlegrounds, right? Where the fuck are the table matches? I don't get it. But yeah, so... Overall, gameplay-wise, I would say it's it's good. I enjoy the cage matches a lot. So I'm going to continue with the campaign in mine and show you guys like how it is. Now, for me, the one of the two biggest complaints in this game so far for me, one would be the limited moveset every character has and the repetitiveness 
that it comes with. As you can see, I am a technic tech. I can't even say the fucking word. Technician wrestler, and she's a high flyer. If I picked another technician wrestler, we would literally almost have the same move set of the same person besides our finishers. It is literally almost identical of stuff. Like this person will have the same moves as this person besides their finisher and stuff. So it is ridiculously like a little repetitive and it's not as crazy as WWE Ultra where you fly around the ring and just freaking see madness everywhere. It's n not as crazy. And my biggest complaint is the limited move set. Every character has comes with only one basic grapple attack and then two to three specials and then that's about it for grapples. You're probably thinking to yourself, holy shit, is that really true? Unfortunately, it is. So I'm going to pick Cassie. We're going to do this uh, cage match. Alexa Bliss might kick my ass because I'm just going to show you tutorial-wise on what I mean on everything, how everything is supposed to be played in this game. So we'll give you an in-depth look, let you know my score. If you should buy it now, wait until Black Friday, and my personal opinion, stuff like that. Now, entrances are okay. Not crazy. I do have some of them muted because, yeah. But, you know, the entrances are kind of cool. You know, they're different. It's all right. Now, cage matches in this game are different. What you need to do is literally grab the money, and then once your bar is full, you can finally escape from the cage. That's all it is. And the cage, at times, will notify you, hey, we're about to electrify this motherfucker, so get off our cage. It's a fun little aspect. It makes it a little crazy. I do like it. But, yeah. We're going to show you the controls of this game. So, basically, in this game, it's strike, run and hit, and grapple. And, of course, you know, some mayhem for stuff like, like weapons. So, we're going to run right away. As you can see, this girl missed completely. And as you see, there's the money. So, this girl has a running and that. But if you ran and tried to strike with her, she doesn't have that feature, as you can see. She only has the run and grab feature. Which, honestly, is... Weird how we only have that. So, Alexa is probably going to grab that. I'll let her grab it. I don't care. Oh, yeah. And then you use the R and RT and LT buttons for uh, stuff like pinning. Oh, not pinning, but to break out the pins. There's the electric shot coming. And if I was on that cage right now, I would get weed. So, let me talk about the grapple, what I mean by the grapple. So, I'm going to keep picking her up. And all I'm going to keep doing is hitting the A button. That's her move right there. Let's go ahead and pick her up again. Now, let's go left and A. Uh, okay, same move again. You guys get the trend here? Let's go down. Usually when you did this in 2K games, you got different moves. Same move again with the grapple. Okay, now let's go right with this one. Oh, same move. So every A move is pretty much the same move if you go up or down. So I'm going to prevent her from getting that. Oh, I should have got her electric, but whatever. So yeah, then you get these special moves with your right analog stick. You just hit to the right. If you have enough stamina, of course. Alright, so I feel like this is just literally just blocking everything I'm doing right now. Okay. So as you can see on your bottom, you have your heat bar, which is that blue bar. When it's full, you could use your special. If you want to reverse, it'll take some of the bar away from you. But you don't lose a lot. Because you can literally regain it back after you reverse and get that whatever you just lost back. Which is, I find reversing in this game somewhat broken. You can literally reverse 50 to 75% of your opponent's move if you're smart and take your time. It's not difficult to do. But yeah, so with, let's go with the right analog stick. This is her move for the right analog stick. Pretty nice. Uh, now we'll go with the up arrow stick. Let's see what she has here. Boom. Look like a mm -mm. A weird F5. So we'll pick her up again. We'll go with the left stick now. And that's literally her entire moveset when it comes to grapples. Now we'll just do her special LT, RT at the same time. And then boom. And that's all she's said and done. And now I'm just going to go ahead and grab this money because I just might as well try to win this match now. But as you can clearly see, the moveset is rather limited. Now you could do special stuff like if you have the stamina, of course. But you need stamina to do it. As you see, my bar is about three four, four fists full. So you hold LT and hit A. Boom, does that. Knocks him back. 
Uh, they also they usually have two. You see, you see my stamina bar went down a lot. And then my stamina is telling me I, I don't have it ready. And boom, there's the other one you could do. So, yeah, those are the basic movesets for this game. And then, you know, high flyers can jump off the ropes and stuff like that. But that's my only complaint so far is the moveset is really limited. And then these other guys will have the same movesets. Now, there is power-ups in this game that you want to use to your advantage. You get them on the bottom left of your screen. At level 1, level 2, level 3, whichever one you want to use. I'd say level 1 and level 2 is the best. Level 3 takes forever to get and is somewhat not worth it. So if I were you guys, I would use like level 2, heal up. That is really, really useful. So you heal up over time because HP in this game is really vital. On the bottom, you can see my HP. I'm still in green so far. Alexa Bliss is probably getting a strike. I'm trying to get electric shock here for you guys so you guys can see it. Here we go. Let's get electric shock real quick. Ah! And that's what happens when you get cocky as fuck. And then he, I can get up right away because I get, and I, I'm just gonna drag. I, I mean, oh wow, well, what the hell? All right, that was way further out than I thought it was. All right, come here, Alexa Bliss. I'm tired of your shit. I'm tired of your shit. And then you just, that, these are the combos that you could do in the game. Simple combos. You will need stamina for that last part of the combo. Almost at the end. Almost got my uh. Wow. See, that's another movie you could do off the ropes. And then, yeah, of course, reverse, reverse, reverse. Reverse right there, easy dub. I'm not a big fan of the reverse system because when you reverse, sometimes they could literally reverse it where when you reverse, they could easily reverse it right back or just recover fast enough to hit you out. So now my bar is full. I could finally go ahead and end this girl's life. I'm going to power up now, get ultra more damage mode. So this girl will be screwed. And now it should be over now, unless the alarm goes off. All you have to do is go up the cage, hold the button, whatever one they tell you. There you go. A. Holding it down, and we're out the cage in GG. Before it electrocuted us. And there you go. There's WWE 2K Battlegrounds cage match for you guys. And as you can see, the move set was very limited. Some wild moves, but it was very, very limited. And that's my only complaint about this game so far is the limited moves. Servers was also a scary thing for me in my, in my head when I got this game. I'm like, yo, 2K has never had reliable servers. The servers have responded great so far. So I am thank God for that. So 2K servers in this game is good. Thank God. Overall, the game is fun with friends. You need friends to play this game. I'm sorry to say, if you play solo-wise, you probably will be putting down the controller really really quick within a week's time i say you need friends to play this game with you guys overall i'm gonna give wwe 2k battlegrounds a 6.5 as of right now they will release more stuff in the future but as of right now the game stands at 6.5 the limited moves really kind of drugged it down and then some of the characters having the exact same moves is another bummer to me so eh was, is it better than WWE 2K20? 2K20 to me was a 1, so obviously a step in the right direction. Uh, to be honest, I've never enjoyed any 2K games ever besides Supercard and Battlegrounds. I can't say 2K14 is technically theirs because it was still made by another company. They just took the licensing. So, so I really can't say 2K14 is their game. I start from 2K15 for them. 2K15 was terrible. Uh, I did not like 16, did not like 17, did not like 18. 19 was okay, but and 20 was atrocious. But, you know, overall, when I say pick this up now, if you have friends, go right ahead and pick it up. Try to get it at the cheapest price possible if you can. If not, wait for uh, Black Friday to price to drop down to like $25, $30. It makes the most sense. So, yeah, definitely worth picking up when the price drops. But overall, fun game. 6.5 out of 10. That's my review. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next episode. Take care and peace out, people.